Oh, I was a mess before. <laughs> uh, scratching in my sleep until I made my skin bleed for two years straight. I used a wire brush on my skin to calm down the itchiness that was coming internally, not externally. Uh, nobody could diagnose it. In fact, I had a lymphoma test. One doctor actually gave me a lymphoma test because they said there's a possibility that if you have lymphoma, it could produce an itching sensation at a variety of different times of the day. So we're gonna, you know, dot our I's and cross our T's and make sure you don't have cancer. I mean, you know, this is, <laughs> I'm itching and I may have cancer. I knew I had a thyroid problem, but every doctor I saw before Erica didn't. <laughs> I had probably about six or seven blood tests every time asking them to check for thyroid because my twin sister has had a thyroid condition for 15 years and based on the way our bodies operate and calculate, I knew eventually it was going to happen to me. And when I started the itching and my hair started to fall out a little bit more often than I would actually desire, <laughs> and my skin started changing, I knew these were all symptoms of thyroid. Yet every doctor that I went to before seeing Erica did the most minor, I guess, of uh, blood work necessary, came back and told me there was nothing wrong with me and they would not even attempt to put me on thyroid medication. They didn't care whether or not my twin sister had the same symptoms and had been on it for 15 years. So coming to Erica, I was able to get the blood work up, get the diagnosis, get on the medication, and it's all natural, so I feel good about it. Um, it's accessible, and everything has changed. I'm no longer itching. My hair is no longer falling out. My skin is no longer dry, and I actually feel amazing. So better now than I did five years ago, and I'm older.